good morning traders welcome to another video it's february 23rd and we are looking at the air canada plus all the canadian banks <music> quick disclaimer that this is just how I see the markets this is not a recommendation to buy sell or hold any securities let's get started as I mentioned yesterday we finally broke out out of this uh, range this this was a definitely range a strong resistance that was finally broken out here and then we had this nice bull run all the way to up to 2560 area probably like that okay I said that possibility exists that market is going to stall because of these this low here that was created here market also stalled right here we can see the clear stalling of the market next one we can expect here at this area $27 and then 28 uh, going all the way to 29 okay so this this is our path in this uh, in this trade all right now we are out of this box out of this range that market was stuck in right we are stuck in here and then finally we broke out now today as i mentioned there's two possibilities we had on a small time frame i'm going to go down there uh, we can we could have had continuation from there to the next level that we can expect some resistance or we can come back to the area of this box of this range and retest and guess what happened this is just basically repeating all over again over and over market came down here retested here to the point to exact point here on this and then just took off all right let's switch to lower time frame we are on 15 minutes chart this is where i left you off on friday then we had this consolidation here through this area here market was not able to break out and finally we had this breakout with this beautiful uh, engulfing candle and market just uh, took off all right and then we had an int went into this consolidation i said yesterday if the market uh, breaks out above this line here makes another break we can continue on or it's it's possible to come back to this uh, box to retest it and that's exactly what happened this morning we had this drop right away uh, as soon as the market opened okay and then look at that just right to the point here and then you get this beautiful pin bar again at the same area we are looking for a signal and that's the signal and you take it long again from there okay so that was your signal to get into trade market retested it the bulls were still located here at this area they're willing to invest more money and the market is continuing on let's see what happened to the rest of the day but that's the kind of signal you're waiting for you're waiting for something like that to happen i would always prefer for the market to come down all the way like here so this is the body of the candle to go through to tell me that actually is fully rejecting this sell area right and close the price above right and then we take the market from there because you can see why from this area here let me just clean this if you look at this signal here your entry is above this candle okay that's your entry i prefer when the market comes down to here okay breaks through basically rejects this area shows me that wick, this wick is showing me that sellers are not in control the buyers are fully in control the body of the candle closes above same as this one here okay and then we take the trade from here you see the difference the difference from here to here it's almost a dollar right so uh, that's what I prefer however this is a clear signal this is telling me that the bulls are still located there and market is continuing on in a bull move so that's Air Canada we are moving on to a National Bank of Canada take a look I marked this on the weekly chart we can see that this was a huge resistance this is where the market was stalling at $76 I told you that already and we had this kind of a close on the other side we are looking right now at on a weekly chart market is above this now above this resistance right now at the 76.48 let's take a look at the daily instead of looking at daily i'm gonna just show you what what i see here on a one hour chart this is one hour chart okay a uh, nice entry was uh, given uh, on this chart i looked at it on a daily and four hours nothing was uh, sticking out in my head that uh, it's much nicer however this is the friday this is where we closed okay this was the close so you can see like it's, it was really really not the strongest close over there and then we had this pin bar here okay this was the first signal 
that the market is rejecting this area, the sell area. This is rejecting this sell area. So the body is closing pretty much on the other side. The next signal what we get, we get this inside bar. See so this candle here is inside this candle. This is this candle is also inside this one here. So this one is basically the main one right there. But we are looking at the next one and the next one. So it's market is basically squeezing the price. This is what's going on. This is squeeze, right? We have in this kind of a triangle here. And then we have this beautiful engulfing bar that actually breaks out, closes above 75, and you have an entry right there into market, and market takes off in a bullish move. You can clearly see it here. So this was an attempt to break out. This was the first signal that bulls are still in the, in the game. Then we get this inside bar, inside this one bar right there, okay? And if we make it like this if we look at if we connect these candles here you can see that this is basically a triangle this is a symmetrical triangle basically it can break out either to the top or to the bottom bulls in this case are much stronger the bulls are breaking out on on the top and then you have and you get a trade from the top of the candle and takes you all the way to uh to the 76 uh, 52 area at the moment all right so that was a nice breakout out of this uh, uh huge resistance that was marked on a uh on the weekly chart we are now looking at the cibc all right we can see market stalling right here that was a problem that was a problem that was a problem so we know this is a very strong resistance market very, came very close right here to that resistance finally today we are getting this finally breakout here this is weekly chart so this candle is not going to close until friday so we're going to look at the daily on the daily we can see this nice breakout out of that area that i marked we are on a 15 minute chart right now we have a breakout with this beautiful engulfing candle here this candle broke out we had a pullback this was a pullback here a retest of the level this red candle is here was a retest all right when the top of that candle was broken we have a bullish move the bulls closed above and we, we are continuing on so the top was broken and we are moving on again we had this kind of a triangle move we had the breakout on the top side and now we are moving into positive direction um, what can happen here this was a very strong resistance uh, market can, can come down one more time to this area 11588 to give us a better signal better entry and then uh, move on okay the problem with this because it's, it was a very strong resistance from before uh, market can come down again to this area to retest just to make sure that the, the bulls are in control and then this is not a just a fake out right this is this can be only a this could be like a or just a fake out where the market just drops the suck it suckers you in basically into the bull move and then just drops below and then it starts going down okay so let's hope that doesn't happen but that's basically right now so what i'm expecting either this or bounce from here and continue on to the bullish move we'll see in a couple of hours this is a 15 minute chart that was a nice entry on a 15 minutes chart moving on bank of montreal so on bank of montreal we can see this clear resistance here resistance then we had this fake out then we had this fake out again resistance resistance and finally again resistance this was pretty close here in 2020 you can see it here on the chart this is on a weekly chart this is a very strong area for this market we are now approaching this area we are right there on that line 104 75 105 area so we are on a weekly chart on the daily chart we can see that we are right on that area right there we are not breaking out yet on one hour we can see that a little attempt here like a week just went through and we are going basically sideways at the moment uh it consolidation is bu building up right here um so i'm just waiting for the breakout to happen here and then uh same old move so if the breakout happens we wait for the breakout pulls back gives us a signal that it's retested this area and then after the signal was given uh, if this if it's strong enough to continue on we're going to have a bullish move or this can continue in consolidation for for a while we are looking right now at the one hour chart we are very close to break out out of this area bank of nova scotia has a little bit different picture here we can see the uh, support here support here market was not able to break through support and then some uh, consolidation in this area then a little fake out 
and then market dropped and then we have another resistance another resistance here huge resistance we had this area I was warning you here if you're about to take this breakout from here okay that market might be stalling at this area and we are right there we can see the market is kind of fiddling in that area here but we are approaching the 76 area this is what I actually expecting to for the market to nicely break out if that happens then we have a nice we can we can have a nice run here up to uh, 81 82 dollars uh, okay so because um, we can see here this was a resistance resistance uh, fake out resistance so this could be a very strong area that's around $81 $82 so if we have a breakout right there we can have this nice run uh, from 76 to 70 to 82 so that's what I'm looking at right now we are nicely strong in the bullish move we can see the market is moving in the bullish uh, direction and we are on a weekly chart weekly chart is much stronger than any other chart so let's see what happens there um, there was a nice breakout here at $71 I told you before if we break out at 71 I'm pretty sure that we can go all the way to 76 and if that's exactly what it's doing right now okay we are on a 30 minute chart that breakout that we're looking at at Nova Scotia we had this high here then we have market going sideways this is basically a consolidation then the market tried to break out right here was not able to then we had another consolidation and then we had this beautiful candle that broke out this is not an engulfing candle because it's not engulfing fully the candle before all right but it is a breakout and it is a close on the other side we are looking at a 30 minute chart here okay the next candle we get is an inside candle here all right once the top of this one was broken inside means that it's in this indecision once the top was broken by this bullish candle here we have a bullish move and look so the entry was about f 72 30 right now we're sitting at a 74 dollars so i i told you that we can expect some air uh, resistance here uh, because of that high over there that was created so that's that's we are that's where we are right now exactly so that was bank of nova scotia switching to td bank that one is very interesting to look at we can see this is on a weekly chart we can see this peak here this was a high this was a resistance that was created this was another high right here that was resistance okay we had a breakout out of that resistance right here at this area so that was a breaking out i told you and explained the last time that the one thing that was worrying me about that kind of trade uh, that kind of a breakout you could have picked up some money here uh, probably like a few cents on the dollar the problem problematic area that was worrying me here is this here this dotted line you can see how strong this resistance was for such a long time okay and we are sitting right now right on that dotted line if you can see this candle is sitting right there on that dotted line um, we had this kind of a little fake out right there uh, but this is a very strong resistance at 77 90 um, 78 dollar area so until this dotted line is fully broken out right right there and then we have a retest here and we don't get the fake out like it was here the market to drop back into this area and if this is a strong enough if we get a signal at that area then we have a clear there's nothing on the left side of the chart to stop us going much higher um, I don't know how far but you know much higher so we can continue on in the bull move so everything is going to be decided at this area here so we can we have to wait be patient this is the main thing about trading patience is a virtue so please do be patient before until you get uh, until you get a nice signal there so another one that I'm looking at right now and uh, this is going to be the last one for today I'm looking at the United Airlines and we can see the strong resistance here and strong resistance here this is on a weekly chart we are sitting here at the $49 49.85 area right there okay what I'm waiting for a market to do is just to break out of this, out of this area here we have a little attempt here that didn't happen um, this is a weekly chart still it's not closed uh, so we have to wait until the uh, week is over so we can see uh, what happened basically at this area but what I'm expecting to do basically to break out uh, pull back and give us a signal probably somewhere from there to continue on we have a nice target right there at uh, almost $80 area 
so 78 79 dollars area so uh, this is going to be a hiccup uh, on the road to the top so this kind of a consolidation area that was uh, created here uh, for a few weeks back in the days somewhere in uh, yeah march around february march uh, 2020 so that's how i see the markets uh, today this is sasha thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching my videos please do uh, click that like button that brings more traffic to my channel and uh, you have a wonderful day i'll talk to you tomorrow